Hi everybody, welcome back to Sharon from Vivid Days. Thank you so much for taking your time to come hang out with me on my channel. I hope that you enjoy my creative process that I'm sharing with you today. Uh, today I am going to be working with resin. I love resin art and that's probably where a lot of people have come to my channel from but I don't just specialise in resin, I'm still learning resin, I dabble in all kinds of medium but today or this week you are going to see me getting back into my resin and sharing my journey with you so if you enjoy my art, my videos or my processes thumbs up, subscribe, share, comments are always welcome. If you are somebody that would like to recommend either a colour scheme, processes that you want me to demonstrate or show you on my channel as well, leave a comment and I'd love to be able to see if that's something that I can uh, give back to you on the channel. And also if you're somebody that has uh, pigments, paints or products that you'd like me to give it a go on my channel and share my review with uh, the viewers, make contact with me. Anyway, remember to be kind, be kind, be kind, support all artists, be true to yourself, be original and be willing to fail to learn. I'll see you on the next video. Much love. Bye. For now. <laughs> Whew. Breathe. Next video. Hi everybody, welcome back to Sharon from Vivid Days. We are going to be working on some Halloween theme coasters and I've got a set of three here. I've put a little bit of the clear at the bottom because that's just going to help with some of the effects. And the colours I have chosen is, the first one is Sunset, Sunset Orange and that is the Colour Cottage Pigments. The second one is Dandelion Yellow. Again, that's the Colour Cottage. Heather Glen, I can smell the roast dinner that Neil's doing downstairs, it's beautiful. Heather Glen, that's also the Colour Cottage. And Emerald Green, finally, uh, which is the Colour Cottage. All I am going to do is put in these colours randomly, blow them together, let them cure, come in and paint on some uh, hopefully fun little Halloween themes and then put a top coat of clear over the top so hopefully this will be a cute little project so i am going to start working on these and i'll bring you in to show you the effects at the end and then the next time you'll hear me speaking is at the other side of this so these are silicone molds that are quite a nice high shine and they are available on amazon so remember to make sure you check out my links below <coughs> sorry just getting over this cold and chest but I'm Sharon, I'm digressing. Let's just pour these in evenly.
Hi, welcome back to Sharon from Vivid Days. It's the next days and these have cured. So I'm gonna pull them out and have a little look. Uh, so they've blended together beautifully. They've not kept that defined line, but we're gonna pull them out and then I'm going to uh, glitter my little emblem for Halloween. Then we're gonna put a clear coat on them. That's actually pretty cool on the back as well. Nice effects around the edges. That's just where I've got to sand off. Make sure that's all smooth, but you've got that nice dome, which should allow me to paint on my ghouls for Halloween and then finish off with a dome. So number one, God, I tend to really like that uh, back area better. That's number one. And number two, same kind of look on the back. <coughs> Sorry. Side again, sand off those edges there. Kind of cool. Nice. Some more, so I've got to work out which one. I want to do for what but it's exciting time all right come back and see me when i am adding my embellishments so my little glitter block looks and i am going to look for a black oh i got a chocolate i'm gonna go for on onyx black
Hi everybody, welcome back to Sharon from Vivid Days. So I am going to come in and review, review um, these cute little um, la, 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 la. <laughs> brain work. That would be helpful. All right, three, two, one. Hi, welcome back to Sharon from Vivid Days. It is review time and I want to come in and show you these little coasters or little pieces of art for Halloween that I've worked on. Now, there are two little things um, on these prototypes that I'm not happy with. I've just, I did send back my edges, ready for applying my dome effect clear. And there's just two little places, one here and one here, where it's slightly raised and I didn't quite dome it enough. So um, if I was gonna be working on this for a actual piece, I would send this back and add some more resin to it. Uh, just making sure that you did have that nice sanded edge uh, and that dome coming off it. Anyway, that's the things that I'm unhappy with, but the things I'm happy with is I just think these are cute and happy. So let's bring you in and let me show you my little witchy. Now, I think she is just a whole old haggard little witch. It's a little fun piece. I do like how this has all gone with the depth and the little uh, bats that you've got there and she's walking down the street. And the back of these are um, sort of still great effects as well. So I feel that... Um, those colours really work and it's fun. Uh, what a great way to join in the fun of Halloween. So again, some of the back areas, the effects on the backs, I feel are just stunning. And here's my cat sat on his broom, which again, I think it's cute. And I really do like that little bit of glitter that's been added. It just adds that nice little uh, mystical effect. Now, what you could have done is done the broom a bit longer and add the witch's arses, yes, bum, um, posterior. Now, what would I say? Um, yeah, could have done her uh, bum there. <laughs> it just sounds weird this morning. I really am tripping out. Anyway, you could have added the back of the witch on there to create uh, another feature. But I quite like my cat sat on his broom flying um, with a spider. And who says that cats can't fly a broom? Hey, eh? who said that? Nobody. And then last but not least, uh, my attempt at these little skulls that are really for um, the Day of the Dead celebration. And my little spider, but again, effects at the back are pretty stunning. And I just think they're fun. So you could turn these into little pieces of art. You could actually put holes through them and hang them down decoratively. Or you can use them as fun coasters to get out when it's Halloween. But I think that these have done what I wanted them to do. It was fun. I hope it's inspired you or give you um, some inspiration to try different things. Uh, but remember, thumbs up, subscribe, share, comments are always welcome. And remember, be kind, be creative, be willing to fail, be willing to experiment, support all artists and have fun. Art shouldn't be serious all the time. Uh, do whatever re-energises your soul. But I will see you on the next video. Until then, if you do celebrate, happy Halloween. If you don't celebrate, at least you can have some fun ideas with different themes you can do on coasters. Anyway, enough digressing, Sharon. I'll see you on the next video and peace out.